great because we're yeah, everywhere. Look, well, there's still heaps of people. No, there's heaps of people still coming in. Yeah. It's called maximizing every minute you have. Time right? management. 101. Good time management. Exactly. Hi, and welcome to my very first vlog that I am officially doing. I am so excited to take you on this journey. I'm not gonna lie, it is going to be full of ups and downs. Yes, you'll see me cry. Yes, you'll see me happy and you'll get to meet everyone in between. I want you to feel like you're getting this like behind the scenes look that you don't get anywhere else. Like you're literally a fly on the wall everywhere I go as such so that you can see what it takes and uh, it's what I wish I had because you know you don't realize everything you're going through from emotions to practically to financial to everything even social spiritual everything you don't realize that everyone goes through it and it's good to be that little fly on the wall sometimes I want to do that for you to start off this first vlog it's going to be a bit different it's going to be a trip down memory lane so originally I started recording content and it was meant to be for my vlog it was for May right we were gonna start this vlog then so here's a truth are you ready <laughs> you're seeing my whole life already and my flaws here yeah, you're gonna see my flaws so my flaw here is I had the intention of doing this it's like over six months that's crazy. So from six months from when I said I wanted to do it, I'm now finally getting it done. And it sucks that I haven't already done it because imagine if I did, I'd already have, you know, I'd already be able to impact and inspire so many more of you lovely ladies. As I said, you're seeing my flaws as they are and it's funny, like, I can say, you know, time got away from me, which technically it did, but really, I just didn't get control of it. You know, I have the exact same 24 hours in a day like Oprah does, like, Tony Robbins does. I got no excuses, right? They're able to produce a lot. I can too if I uh, actually set a deadline. So guess what I did? I made, this is my schedule for social media. 10 things and then a mark for each day. And it includes this vlog. So now I show up, but see this is a thing. Is me saying I wanted to do it, did it get me actually doing it? I've had to put dates to it and then obviously I've got Amy behind the camera and editing. She makes this what it is. I couldn't do it without her. And then obviously I have Reese and everyone else in my life who supports me. <sighs> I didn't breathe then. <laughs> okay, so back down memory lane is when I was in Melbourne and I really want to share this with you. You'll see some awesome things I got up to and the biggest message of all. But first, let's just watch the journey unfold, starting at the airport. Typical Renee style, you're gonna learn a lot about me. <sighs> being on time is me. I'm literally that definition of being on time. In Australia, you have to get there 45 minutes prior to your plane departing. Well, guess what? We got there exactly 45 minutes. Perfect, but the machine shut down. Anyways, let's go have a look. <laughs> this is a good piece of advice or a bad piece of advice but in Australia we got here like dead on 45 minutes so the machine stopped working you need to check in manually then you get checked in quick and you don't have to line up in those big lines so maybe it's a good tip get there right on time and they manually check you in and it's quick <laughs> Let's check out the bathroom first. Oh, lots of mirrors. Look at all the mirrors. I like this. Cool. Oh, hang on. A toilet with a telephone? Um, why? Oh, hey, mirrors. Uh, let's see what the view looks like. Another mirror. Oh, awesome. Bed, booking bed, couch, race. Oh, there's a tennis court. It's like golf hitting. Oh, look at that. You can see all the city out there. Exercise <laughs> before a green day, you know. Have to impress hey, Joe Armstrong, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why not? So I also wanted to just quickly fill you on on, on that something. And that is, is we went to this Melbourne trip and it was a reward as such for everything we've done. And I'm a big believer in that. Set yourself 
something huge to get done, right? And then a huge reward that makes you want to do it because the fact is, is when it comes to like, when you're going on a holiday, it's amazing what you can get done prior, right? So use that to your advantage. It's just like Parkinson's law suggests. It is in the time you allow for a task to be done, is the time you're gonna get it done in. So a great example is, let's say you have a friend coming over and you know they're coming over at 7 p.m. and you're like, oh, all good. You got all day to get it cleaned up. You know, you'll do whatever you gotta do and start to kind of clean. All of a sudden, it is, you know, 4 p.m. and they'll say, I'm gonna be there at five. Whoa, you can get that whole house cleaned up in one hour when you were just dawdling around prior. That is Parkinson's law anything in our lives from cleaning to actual getting work done that is going to change your life if you can produce and execute it's amazing so this Melbourne trip represented that for Reese and I we'd been to America we were back for a while we hit some huge amazing milestones with our business and our clients businesses and our reward was to get down to Melbourne uh, it was perfect for, for Reese we were literally stalking a green day we'd seen them in vegas and then we flew down to melbourne and then we're flying back to see them in brisbane ah oh, so i suppose you might want a little sneak peek of what green day was like in melbourne so we're about to head into green day and we're in the mosh pit because in vegas we were at the seats and it's a lot nicer to be up and closer to them and um Billy is like really interacts with the crowd. from Green Day songs. Isn't it crazy how we can learn things? So yeah, question everything, otherwise you're just gonna be the victim of authority, right? Question, why like that? Why is uni good for me? Like, question everything. I wish I did that, by the way. So what happens next is I just wanna show you like a quick reel of everything. I don't wanna leave it out because if you're from America, I wanna see, I want you to see what Australian football is like and the AFL. Uh, in Melbourne and the MCG and everything like that. So I'm just gonna go show a little footage and then we got on the field afterwards, which was fun dodging all the balls. Anyways, and uh, you know how we only just made the plane prior? Well, we got even closer. Did we even make the plane? I can't even remember, but watch this and find out. <gasps> We're officially off to the game. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. They say Mike's about to blow though. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like that. And in the middle of MCG Stadium, everyone's keeping the balls. And the quickest way out of a stadium like this is to go straight. So by being able to go on the field, we can head straight. Yay! And it's freezing. So I am very happy that Hawthorne won. Otherwise, oh, this one, <laughs> oops, we also went to hear me. We'll be leaving crying. Can't have that, so I'm so happy they won just. Hello. Good morning. Hello. It hasn't changed, but it's stopped raining. Admiring the last view of Melbourne before I head back to Brisbane for a Green Day concert again. But lots of work to get done first. We're walking through Federation Square. What's the biggest piece of advice when it comes to gratitude? Oh man, definitely follow your heart. And sometimes the hardest thing is knowing what's right for you, but your heart always knows. So just listen to that. That is perfect. Come on the tour bus, just please no photos. But they're all like Somo. Because we be going. Thanks for being our delivery man. So sitting here doing my makeup with my makeup buddy and we're having our business meeting at the same time but I've got to get ready to also leave back to Brisbane all at the same time but it's fun having a makeup buddy. And we are off. 
so we're just waiting on the Uber and then we're out of this beautiful hotel. It's been an amazing stay at the Hyatt in Melbourne, CBD. And I came to your town. At the airport. Oh, it's gold. We made it in on time. So yes, we're here on time. <laughs> just, I hope. It should be good. We'll find out in a second. So yes, we made it just in time. We're very good at that this trip, making flights just in time. I wouldn't technically, I can't even. Okay, so maybe I lied. We didn't leave the lounge in time and now we're rushing to the gate. And we made it. Look at me. Just in that place of gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> the thing you got everywhere. Look, there's still heaps of people. No, there's heaps of people still coming up. Yeah. It's called maximizing every minute you have. Time right? management. What I good time management. Blast she thinks hell from Jersey, baby. White girl, but the curves are crazy. And she up all night like that. It looks like Reese isn't eating. Where's yours? There's mine. I got a trio of dips. Cookie. Um, yeah, I love this. Fig and walnut paste. It's so good. Good news. He got his as well. Yay! Please return it if I lose them so I can see the last book that I went. Like I always in all my books I highlight and take notes. I recommend you to do that. There's a tip. But I also like left behind. So I did lose my last book from Russell Brunson, his first one, Doctor of Secrets. I left it on a plane actually. Funny. So in this book I wrote, please return the book. If I can help it, I want it back. He's making fun of me about it. So awesome. And I came to your town. We fell in love. And we burned it to the ground. So I took my scarf off because I thought it was going to be hot in Brisbane. No, it's rainy. It's like just as miserable. Damn. All right. I'm off into the car now, heading to the concert. Yay. For the third time. Third and last time. We're back in Brisbane on a rainy day and uh, enjoy Green Day again. My sister was there and her friend Gabby and obviously I was with Reese. It was loads of fun. I sung there ears off in the car, if that's a thing, and then basically, um, yeah, it all came to an end. And I would just love for you guys to hit subscribe, turn post notifications on, I'll be doing random giveaways and everything like that, so if I see your name there, then obviously you go into the chance if you're subscribed with the post notifications on by hitting that little bell. And in the next vlog, I have something really exciting for you guys. I'm gonna leave it as a secret, but I'm literally gonna share something that is tough to share, but I wanna do it because I want, yeah, I just wanna tell you guys what I wish I knew. And as I said, for you to be on fly on the wall, because this footage is from months and months ago, but I'm making it work and I wanna prove to you guys how you can just get in and do it. And yeah, don't hold on to the regret of I wish I'd done it. You can either plant a tree, well, yes, you should have planted that tree 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But guess what? The second best time is today. So you can only do what you can today. Unfortunately, I wish I could invent a time machine and go back. I can't. Neither can you. So let's squeeze the most. Squeeze the most. Squeeze the most. Squeeze the most out of. Squeeze the most out of today. All right. I'll catch you guys later on the next vlog. And remember to be happy, be bright, be energetic, and just be you. They say Mike's about to blow them. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like bogles, you can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Fuck their eye like Somo.